At UDOT, we are constantly researching new and innovative ways to help reduce traffic and congestion at busy intersections throughout the state. One of these is the freeway entrance at 2600 South and I-15 in Woods Cross. The 2600 South interchange will be reconfigured, allowing drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians to more efficiently and safely navigate this commonly congested area. One of the most visible changes is the introduction of a modified Continuous Flow Intersection Lane, or CFI, for westbound traffic on 2600 South heading to southbound I-15. The off-ramp from southbound I-15 is also changing, as well as the new intersection just west of the freeway. With these and other changes, let's take you on a test drive to show you all these improvements. We begin following southbound traffic on I-15 by getting off the freeway at the 2600 South exit. We bend right, getting off at 800 West on our way to 2600 South. Turning left at the light, we head toward a new intersection at 2600 South. Turning left again to go east on 2600 South, we drive beneath the freeway as before. Next, let's turn around and drive along 2600 South, this time traveling west toward the freeway. Our goal is to get on I-15 and join southbound freeway traffic, but instead of regular left turn lanes, the traffic crosses the oncoming flow of vehicles a bit earlier. This simple change allows the traffic flow to continue onto the freeway without having to stop. This will reduce traffic backing and congestion underneath the I-15 bridge. Pedestrians will have a new path if they are heading west beneath I-15. Foot traffic will cross the new lanes heading toward the freeway and follow a similar path briefly between traffic to safely cross to the other side of I-15. As you can see, these exciting changes allow traffic of all kinds to flow more safely and efficiently, promoting an easier commute around town. This is only one of the ways UDOT is striving to make travel safer and easier for every Utah resident.